making sure not a single corner is missed. If you've been around us for even a little while, you are well aware that this Ozark dwelling household is in the middle of decking out our home and every one of its nook and crannies in its autumn wardrobe. Today, we're continuing on that journey, but after breakfast, we're gonna make a little run. Stick around for even just a bit and you will surely see that our family has its favorite spots in our little town. Time and time again, you've seen us visit this one. No matter how many times we visit, it's always got new treasures to be found. Speaking of treasures, I found the sweetest little folk art picture frame. It's got the most beautiful little carved figures on it. And I thought an antique print from here would look perfectly paired with it. Some of their pieces are handmade by local artisans. Others are from the 1800s and even before. Even if you're not necessarily looking to purchase, it's so fun to peruse through all the goodies they have. from the other kiddos rooms. When I set out to design Irish June's nursery, one of my main objectives was to create a cozy, calming, relaxing space. I know the lack of color hasn't been the most popular decision judging by some of the comments in my previous comment sections. I can absolutely appreciate differing opinions and I always thought the world would be boring if everybody liked the same thing. On a differing note, truth be told, I'm a little embarrassed, but I still haven't completely finished it. So we're going to do that today.
thing to remember with your rugs when deciding where to place them is that you always want your furniture to be resting on top of them in some way or another. The goal is to make sure that it's not floating in the middle of your room. While rugs are great for adding texture and warmth, they also pull a space together by acting as an anchor. If you've got a wide open area and you're not quite sure how to define a space, simply lay a rug down and it will do just that. When setting out to do her room, I really kept a loose idea of what I wanted her room to look like. I knew the color palette and I knew the look and feel that I was really reaching for, but I really left room for the most important pieces and that was the antiques that I had yet to find. I really wanted to wait for them because I knew that those pieces would ultimately dictate the way the room turned out. The top of my priority list was a space for us to sit together and read. You'll see a little peek into our playroom in just a moment. Children's books and reading to my older three kiddos was a huge part of their upbringing. Even though they can clearly read to themselves now, the middle two still humor me by picking out a book from one of their shelves and letting me read to them.
Let's rewind a few months back to when my postpartum body was in a little fuller swing and the grass hadn't had time to quite green up. For some reason, the footage taken of the before and while I was sanding it down is reading as an error, but rest assured, this thing was rocking in all its orange glory. After happily bidding adieu to what looked like a overly sunless, suntanned toy chest, I slathered her with a far less offensive stain, at least in my opinion. I tend to think out of the box when it comes to trying to figure out ways to make your home feel cozy or inviting. It's not always the largest changes that make the biggest impact. I've always believed what really makes a house a home are the tiny thoughtful details. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money to make impactful changes. And those changes in fact, don't even have to be for the world to see. Your home is about what makes the people inside of it happy and the way it enriches each of those individuals lives. Something as small as lining the inside of a drawer or a cupboard, if you ask me, is just enough to do the trick. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed our time as much as I did. As always, I very much appreciate you. Can't wait to meet you in the comments section. And I've got big plans for next week's episode. So as always, I'll see you at the same time next week. See you soon, friends.